only the kitchen door, but I removed it and turned it into a table when I did my remodel. A door for a table, wow. <laughs> you can touch it if you want to, Randy. It's so soft. I love fixing up houses, not to mention it really increases their value. Sounds smart. I mean, anything you can do to increase... Randy? But I'm not done yet. Yes, you are. Well, I'm glad to know that uh, you're doing so good, Maggie. But you still gotta let me make this up to you. Well, we were kids. You know what the worst part was? You never got to know me as a person, and today, you did that. So you can cross me off your list, Earl. Thanks, Maggie. Maggie was right. Not getting to know her was my mistake. A mistake I was glad to fix. Well, she sure was nice. I bet we would have been friends when we were kids if I wasn't so... Check it out. He's off to see the wizard. <laughs> Look at that tall guy, Earl. He looks just like a Stretch Armstrong doll right before I pulled him in half. Man, look at her. Oh, my God, you know what this place must be? A cartoon? No, I think it's where all the carnival people live when they aren't working. It's a freak town. Except for that kid. He's normal. Look at his hands, Earl. They're like lobsters. But without the rubber bands to stop him from biting us with his hands. This place is freaky, Randy. Let's get out of here. Wait a second. I'm doing it again, Randy. I'm making fun of people because they look a little different, just like I did with Maggie. Look, karma brought us here for a reason. I mean, what good is it to cross Maggie out the list if I'm going to keep doing the same thing to other people? You know what, Randy? I'm going to get to know every person in this neighborhood for who they are on the inside. If you make friends with anybody, make friends with the tall guy. I know where there's a frisbee stuck in a tree. When I went back and told Maggie I wanted to get to know her neighbors, she thought it was a great idea and invited everybody over for a barbecue. One by one, we got to know him, and we learned all kinds of things, like the fact that William was a hell of a cook. This burger's delicious. Thank you. It's Black Angus. I don't think I can eat it now that I know the cow's name. Kevin might have had a horn on his head, but he didn't have a chip on his shoulder. That's pretty cool. Can you take your head on a plane? Not since 9-11. Or I'll make sacrifices.